and welcome to the Subjective Insights. Today, not most of us, right? Most people are out there trying to be significant, trying to be important, trying to say, look, uh, I have worth. If I were to vanish, that then it would have an effect, it would have an impact. I'm important. Now, I used to be like that, and, and still, still, there is that urge within me. Why else would I make videos? But, but, right. The rational reaction to realising that you are insignificant, that you are not important, that eventually you and everything you know will die and be forgotten about, and that you don't have an impact, that you are ineffectual, right? Is it should give you a kind of, you know, should take the weight off your shoulders. Because it's not down to me. I'm not in charge of this whole thing. I can just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Knowing full well that in the end, that the end's going to be the same. <sighs> it's funny, isn't it? Like you go on Facebook, you go on all these kind of social media things, and you see these people debating as if it is serious, right? As if Bob from bloody normal road and Susan from as a normal road at the pub having a conversation are actually policy makers actually are going to be sending out armies when they're really not but the way they talk how vociferous they become and and the kind of tactics and underhanded ways of getting other people to agree with them that they use it's, it's like they're taking it seriously And it's because, in a sense, I don't really take it seriously that I can align with what I believe to be the truth more. And yeah, I may, I may be wrong. I may see something incorrectly, you know. I may make a, an error in judgment. I may, may make an error in kind of rational calculation or ratiocination. Ratiocination? I think it's ratiocination. Ratiocination sounds better than ratiocination because it's got more syllables and it's got a little C in it. But... But what I'm able to do... I, 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 I I can say that, that when I'm confronted with, with being wrong and I see that I'm wrong, I could say, oh yeah, I am wrong, because it, it doesn't matter if I'm wrong or right at the end of the day. You know, for like thousands of years, people were entirely wrong about where the sun was and where the earth was in relation to the sun. They, they thought that the sun and that was going around the earth. They believed that, you know. They had whole schools believing that and they killed people for believing differently. Yet, nevertheless, it was what it is. I mean, we may be wrong about what it is now, but whatever it is, it is is independent of our kind of opinion or thought about it. The whole game just carries on. It just goes on and on and on and on and on, doing what it's doing. And it just don't give a fuck. It's an empty kind of thing. And it's within that not giving a fuck, that giving a fuck comes up, you know, that can come up. Because the ultimate don't give a fuck, just, just lets you do what it wants, what you want. Or well, if it does give a fuck, what it cares about is um, you not flying unassisted, you know? Obviously it cares about that because it does not let that happen. It just doesn't. But, raping little kids, fine. On the table, mate, you can do it. Reality lets you, it don't stop you. You know, I mean, if God's in charge, if there is a God and he's in charge, and he's omnipotent and he's powerful, then if you don't want a thing happening, it ain't going to happen. So obviously he don't want people flying unassisted, you know. Obviously he, don't, he doesn't want, he wants atoms to, like radioactive compounds to degrade at a specific rate, you know. Obviously he, he, he wants sun light to act like a wave and a particle, depending upon how it's observed. But he don't give a fuck if you murder somebody. Because it happens. 
I mean, there are plenty of things that happen and don't happen regularly, you know, and, and this regularity behind things happening or not happening is one of the evidences people use for the existence of God. Now then, if he's willing to stop you from flying, why not from murdering? It wouldn't be any harder for him, would it? Goodbye.